Hello to my Taurus friends. How are you doing? Uh, here we are, um, almost in February 2019. Dharma Jane coming out a little late for these last three readings. Um, but this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And again, welcoming cross watchers. Um, and if you like what you see here, smash that subscribe button, okay? So let's get started. We had a jumper card come out first. Four Pentacles holding on to. We're holding on to something. We'll see what it's all about, but that's the general gist of that card. <clears throat> and since it's a jumper card, it's going to be kind of a theme that we're probably going to be looking at. So someone has been deceptive in one way or another. And so now we're disappointed and we are trying to make a choice, confused about that choice about whether or not to actually put an end to it. What was the seven of air, please? Okay, so spirit wants to just leave it at deception, but I did see the um, king of swords at the bottom of the deck. So how, however this went about, it probably wasn't very nice at all because then we have an earth sign who is off their kilter, unplanted, unrooted. Somebody wasn't putting any effort into what they were supposed to be putting into. They weren't putting their pentacles where it should have been. And what it affected now was everybody's happiness. Yeah. We're looking at a soul contract that may or may not be coming to an end. Because we're disappointed about this union now. Yeah. I don't know whether or not to put an end to it. I don't know if I should dig up this plant or not. But the fairies are saying, what in the world just happened? It's crazy. This is the poet. It talks about clear sight, understanding things for what they are, being able to interpret things in a like a romantic style fashion. But this he also just sits and waits. He doesn't like go up. This is the one that would write you a letter and then mail it to you. He would never like walk up to you and say it. But it also talks about staying out of trouble. And so it came out for this one in, in terms of if this were to end, it would stir up a whole heap of trouble. So we're trying to be really grounded, having our feet in the earth, really trying to come to a place where we understand the nature of nature. But also at the same time, this is probably someone who holds all of your love. This is she of the Kruak. This is like the complete embodiment of love. Empress times a million. So there's real love there. But there's a, there's a big deep thought process happening. But come mid-February, you know, there's like, you get to a place where it's like, you know what, maybe you start to get impatient with, with walking on eggshells, if you will. You're like, maybe I could be single. Here's your ace of so, uh, pentacles. Because everything's in reverse. Everything isn't going the way that it's supposed to. You know, somebody's holding on to their money. There's the four pentacles twice maybe manipulating the system in order to not have an ending. But we're trying to get some real clarity about what we're going to do that what's the most practical decision to stay or to go. Don't know. Confusion. Confusion about that. But there it is again. We do know we're not just accepting any old random offer. It can't just be the way that it was. Because your Knight of Cups in reverse, it's not, it's an empty cup. You're moving away from that and really trying to embody this Taurian practicality of things need to be grounded. You know, this is a very earthy card. And this is just having patience. I mean, you have two cards for patience here, trying to watch and wait. It's another indication of these are like stone men 
who sit and watch and wait to, just to see what will happen with the cycle. Because it's it, I want I just heard I've heard that tune before. You know what I'm saying? It might be someone be like, I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna leave you, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet. Or vice versa. And so we're in this like it's like a waiting game, like a limbo game, waiting for somebody to change so that the cycle can restart in a different manner. So then it comes to the end. You, this is where the Ten of Swords, that's where you decide either to stay or go. But, and here's the choice with the lovers. This is deciding based on intuition. And for some of you, it's going to be difficult, but I do think that you will end up choosing to leave because the you have all these tens and two death cards. But for some of you, it's an ending to like a dead era. And now we come out with all these fiery type. You got the Phoenix. You have both of these fire cards. Ooh, then you have tenant. So for a lot of you, it, it's going to be the decision to, to, to move forward. But I think that the main point of this reading for February for Taurus is that there's going to be a lot of waiting, but closer to the spring, you put a lid on things. things become untamed, like you, you, something about getting freedom. And then it comes to a place where the only thing you're willing to accept is unconditional giving and unconditional receiving. But with the fairies of the future, and this is a great last card because this is a call to be here now because you have great things coming. So, so basically I think that the message behind this is that it's going to be a, you have a hard time getting through the cycle and there's like a impatience factor to want to try to jump forward. But the fairies of the future are like, don't worry about it. what you're calling for, what you're trying to manifest down here. That's coming your way. You just got to wait. And for some of you, there's a big time choice. Okay, that's all I have for you, actually, Taurus. So that's for February 2019. If you like what you see, subscribe. Talk to you soon.